So, in order to make clothes, you need to make a snare for a rabbit. To make a snare, you're going to grab a straight branch. You're going to come here and you're going to whack it three times for it to become a stake. One, two, three. Once you got a stake, hold it like this and it will say, now you need a rope. Mil ropes are with your milkweed. So we're just going to grab two um, wild rope, wild milkweeds, I mean. It'd be convenient if there was wild rope. All right, we got ourselves a good old rope. We're going to head down here and we're going to make our snares for our rabbits. Ryan character. She, she has small little feet. Don't worry about that dead body. It, it just lives there. All right, so now to make your snare, highlight it again, and it tells you to combine the rope to the stake. Bushki, you got yourself a snare. So unlike the PC version, you do not need to make bait for your rabbits. You just need the snare, and then you just need to go out there and start uh, collecting your rabbits. Make sure you only hunt rabbit holes that say family hole, if you hunt any other ones, that hole will become abandoned. I will probably show you guys that for an example. Because then you know what it looks like and how sad it is. Because <laughs> a lot of new people, they start, uh, they overhunt the rabbits. And then <laughs> we run out of fur and we can't make any more clothes. There's a lot of rabbits here, which is nice. Really good. It's a good area. So it's okay for me to uh, kill one of them, just for an example. All right, this rabbit should be ready. Wait, I thought I put the snare on him. Now I'm confused. Oh no, it's this guy. I just brought my basket way far away from it. So your basket can hold up to three things. So I think the very first thing I'm gonna teach is how to make a book bag. I, you know, I was going to go in order, though, and show you guys what to make with one fur, two, up to five furs, but I really need a book bag, so <laughs> we got to show the one that takes the most fur. But yeah, in the uh, PC one, you need to use, uh, oh, there's my baby. Hello, baby. You are going to be called student. So this is eternal, everyone. Uh, they are my baby. <laughs> They're going to help me hunt rabbits because we need to grab a whole bunch for this tutorial. I like giving babies bags, but we don't have book bags right now. So we're just going to put a big old pie in the basket. And now I can say, can you collect rabbit? Oh, they're three now. I can also feed them until they're four. Once they're four, I can no longer carry them. All right, so they're good. Um, I can leave them be. Uh, babies free to do what they want. They grow up quick in this, <laughs> in this game. Totally accurate to real life. Once your child's three, you just let them loose in the wild. <laughs> they can defend themselves. Okay, let's find my, so my basket's full. So we're just going to put this on another... Oh, look at that! My snare from the last lesson I had. We're going to just stick both of those on there. Keep that there and come back for it. Again, only hunt rabbits with families. I will show what happens when you don't. Just to show that that hole will never come back. It's going to be abandoned. But I got plenty of rabbit holes to be okay. Alright, so... For a book bag, we need five rabbits. I have three out of the five, so let's go grab two more. And then I will show how to make a book bag. I have, oh, look at that. There they are. <laughs> how convenient. All right, let's go put this here. Again, I need about 15 or 16 rabbits to show all the clothes you can make with rabbit fur. So this is the basics of clothing, I should say, because there's more advanced once you get wool and sheep, but we don't got that right now. We are just an Eve village, so we do everything caveman style. 
there's my baby they are running off they probably made everything they need i'm gonna keep the fire going there we go technically don't have to now but in case we want to cook some rabbit we'll keep it going okay um another nice thing is you could pile i think five rabbits together or six I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can pile six rabbits together. So say you're just gonna hunt, 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 and then someone else is gonna make clothes. They can pile it for you. But you can't cut them up in piles. You gotta separate it. So to chop up a rabbit, you can highlight it and it will show you your different methods. A knife and a flint. The next tutorial, we will go and I will show you how to craft um, forging, I mean, with the iron and everything. But that that's a little more trickier than making clothes. All right, so we'll grab our flint chip. We'll start cutting up these rabbits. So for a book bag, we need to stack four fur on top of each other. So one, two three and I'll show you guys how to make a bone needle again so we we will cook a rabbit four so if we need four fur and then we need to for the fifth one we need to chop the fur up into smaller pieces like with your flint like this so it becomes pieces of cut rabbit fur just grab one of those pieces and you put it together on top of your four and when you highlight it it shows you with your needle and thread you can now make a book bag so what i'm gonna do real quick is show you guys how to make the needle and thread so you're gonna want to cook a rabbit so get your skewer pick up one of your raw rabbits and then when the fire turns into coal we're gonna cook it and then we're gonna hit a bone it'll make sense when I once I eat it <laughs> and we'll turn that into our needle perfect timing so cook the rabbit put it down eat it turns into bones drop it pick it back up it will leave behind a rabbit bone then just hide this you don't need it again then take your flint hit it and now your rabbit bone has become a bone needle pretty easy but now to make needle and thread you get a milkweed I have I have string out right now but I'm gonna show you you're gonna want one milkweed so grab just one string again leave seeds because you don't you don't want to not have milkweed seeds it's for everything and then you combine it to your bone needle, which it's up here. I know it's super small. Combine it, and now you got yourself a needle and thread. Yay! I'm gonna say good work. Good job, baby. <laughs> so now with your needle and thread, you're gonna highlight your furs. And Bushki, you made a book bag. I was gonna give it to the baby because they're the one hunting, but they they walked away. So we'll give them a we'll give them the book bag when they come back. Oops. Again, I want to keep my uh, fire alive for now. So if I cook more rabbits later, I don't have to remake the fire. Okay, so now we'll show the simpler. <laughs> we'll start with the one fur. Oh, they're back. Come back here, baby. He also here. And thank you. All right, they're off. <laughs> Look at how helpful baby is. All right, so the next one we're going to show is how to make pants. Pants are super easy. You just hit one rabbit <laughs> or, you know, throw your, your flint. Hit one rabbit and get collect one piece of fur. Then you're going to grab your needle and thread. And then you're just gonna hit it. And you made yourself some pants. Yay, you're not naked. Or you're not as naked anymore. Well, the next one we're going to show is how to make, I think it's the, sh 
uh, shawl or shirt. Don't quote me. It's going to be a surprise for me, too. <laughs> it's been a while since I made clothes. I'm, I'm usually the one who makes uh, everything in the forge. So, <laughs> so we're going to combine two furs together, highlight it to see what it's going to make. Oh, there we go. So two fur is going to make you a hat. So my head's going to be nice and warm. So once again, grab a string, com combine it to your needle, and then whack it. Yay, now you have a hat. But your girl is still cold. She needs a shirt. <laughs> so now you're going to combine three rabbits together. One. It's a counting stream, too. <laughs> Education. Two. Math was my least <laughs> my least favorite subject. That and speaking. Three. All right. Once again, highlight it if you're curious to see what you're going to make. We're going to make a shawl, guys. We're going complete caveman now. You can't be cave people without your shawl. <laughs> so once again, put it with your needle and thread and whack it. And you put your shawl on. My girl's like, ah, we're nice and comfy. Now we need some shoes. So to make shoes, you hit one rabbit like this. And now you're going to do, uh, you're going to cut it into smaller pieces. And then separate the pieces like this. And each of these small pieces are going to make one little furry shoe. So I ran out of string. So we're going to go over here and grab one. I don't need to wait for it to flow, I mean to bud, because I already have one right here. Now we're gonna look for a needle. It's so small, so sometimes I have problems looking for it. There it is. But this is again, you're seeing why I say milkweed is important, because I'm already going through a whole lot of it just to make a couple clothes. And when you say you have an entire colony of babies and you going around, those are a lot of bodies you want to clothe up. So giant milkweed farm is great. So there we go. We have two shoes. <laughs> version the more clothes you are the warmer your character is so if you look my temperature just raised it's light blue now but if i was to strip naked which i will do <laughs> oh look i already took only a couple off my temperature dropped so clothing keeps you warm and when you're warm you're doing you don't get as hungry I'm going to have to ask my child to start <laughs> start making some pies while there's rabbit. <laughs> Alright, let's get these out of the way. Alright. And now I have to show you uh, the clothing you can make combining four rabbits. Oh, perfect. We have just the right amount. I believe combining four makes another shirt type thing. Because there's the shawl and then there's the other thing. I can't remember what to call it. But put four pieces of fur together. We are going to combine all four of these. Once again, highlight these furs if you're curious to see what it makes. So you're going to make a nice comfy coat. <laughs> it's not a shirt, it's a coat. So once again, grab milkweed. Grab a seed to replace the milkweed you're going to cut. And go up here. Put it on your thread. And now we're going to whack it. And there you go. That, what I just showed, was every single fur piece you can make with rabbits. But, that's not all the beginner clothes that you can make. Sure, with rabbits we are done. But there's two other things that you can make that won't disappear. Because rabbit clothes decay over time. Which is very saddening. But again, like real life... <laughs> If you make something in poor quality, it won't last. But there's two clothes items that will always last forever, which is a straw hat and reed pant skirt. I think it's a skirt. So to make the pants, you're going to want to find uh, reeds. I don't know if this is going to tell you. No, it's not going to tell you. So cut it 
and then bring this back oh it tells you if you hold it so see what it's saying it's saying to combine a rope to make a reed skirt so once again we're going to use up even more milkweed so take two of these we're going to replace the seeds make a rope and then combine it and you made yourself a skirt um, the next one is going to be a straw hat so to make a straw hat you need to cut down wheat so you could use either a sharp stone or flint to cut wheat i like using my sharp rocks i don't know why it's just a preference <laughs> i like to carry it with me so cut this down oh i dropped it my girl wanted a milkweed instead. Pick it up. And right now it's only a wheat sheaf. So in order to make it straw, you need to take one of your straight branches and whack it so it becomes threshed wheat. Then you grab this. Let's see if the book tells you how to make the hat. It does. So once again, take your needle and thread in one piece of string. So replace the milkweed again. Grab a string combined it and there you go you made yourself a straw hat and a straw skirt so technically the straw hat and skirt can be the very first clothing you make and unlike the rabbit fur clothing this will forever stay so your person will be nice and dressed but it doesn't raise the temperature unless you had shoes so without your shoes you're cold but at least you're not naked <laughs> my name is eternal symmetry and i smack seal <laughs> i came on at a great time yes this is eternal symmetry so they are an amazing streamer also my sibling we both started this game at the same time so uh <laughs> it's really interesting that we both didn't know how to play and no wants to show everyone how to make seal skin shirts so we're gonna watch them real quickly because i died before i could do it so what you do is you take a long shaft you whack a seal and kill it then take a flint and cut its skin off and you get that beautiful little skin right there yeah we can't use the meat so we're just gonna leave that there <laughs> yeah it's sad <laughs> so they made a little uh you can actually wear that right there and um it becomes like a little yeah so it becomes like a little I, I don't know what to call it like a a robe sort of but that's another way to make clothes it's not the best clothes but it's another way to get more clothes when you're starting out Especially if you're near a huge snow biome and you can't find rabbits. Anything to wear is better than nothing. So, But if you use a needle and thread, as they're about to show, it's going to turn it into a nice thick coat. And I, this is actually one of my favorite coats be besides the bear outfit. So once they combined it. Yay! I just like how it looks. And that's a really warm shirt. See how nice and warm their temp is right now? I re I like them. Yep, now you're warm. And she's fully dressed, so... That, <laughs> that is Eternal's tutorial. Thank you for the tutorial, ter Eternal. <laughs> Much appreciated. You a good student teacher. Now I, sh now I show you what not to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, guys. There's my dead body. <laughs> all right let's see what what not to do <laughs> let's see what my kid's doing <laughs> she's naked <laughs> okay don't do this here she goes <laughs> what not to do at a stoplight like that spongebob episode She's running free, but you see if you look at her temp now, she's ice cold. She's she's cold and naked. <laughs> oh, she's gonna murder herself. Yeah, and it, all the animals on this are besides the seals and the rabbits, they're all pretty evil. Yeah, don't pet piggies. Unless they're domesticated. Wild piggies will murder you. Um 
So you want to not walk into pigs. Same with wolves. Stay away from wolves. Stay away from snakes. And please, for the life of every village out there, do not hit a bear cave. Because <laughs> you will kill everybody.